At Sparrow and Wolf, our cooking style is inspired cuisine. It's based around my Midwestern roots, getting back to a lot of being around the fire and cooking with wood, a lot of primal meats and plant-based ingredients, but utilizing culture from all over the world and techniques and soundly fusing those together, making cohesive dishes. We do a lot of plant-based cooking here as well. I'm a big fan of using vegetables in our cuisine. Currently, the eggplant that smoked slowly for about two hours and then hit with high heat and glazed in pomegranate molasses. We make almost a Lebanese garlic sauce, but in this case, we're using roasted garlic, a little bit of garlic oil, lemon, and tahini that we blend in our Vitamix until you get a smooth consistency out of that. Also utilizing a lot of local ingredients like the herbs from Desert Bloom Farms here in Pahrump. We use a lot of techniques like cold pressed juicing. We take our cold pressed pineapple, habanero, lime, cucumber, and then we emulsify it in our Vitamix with coconut fat to achieve the texture and consistency that we're looking for. We cure the komachi with kombu to get that oceanic salt flavor profile. We let that cure for about an hour and just to firm it up and give it the nice flavor that it adds. We finish the dish with a little bit of toasted sesame seeds, fresh cucumber, and lychee. I've lived in Las Vegas for 20 years honored to have a restaurant here locally because we can cook the way we want to cook and we're not placed inside of any box to gear ourselves towards tourists or stuck in the kind of lines we color outside of them as much as possible while staying cohesive. The lamb wellington is a very classic French wellington dish wrapped in a crepe and the mushroom pesto but we use a beautiful lamb out of New Zealand and we use Korean ingredients. So instead of pairing it with the traditional palm puree and Brussels sprouts, we do this dish with kimchi made from the Brussels sprouts and a sauce made from a mushroom tare. So we've got Korean and Japanese and French influence in that one dish, but it's still technically sound. You know, our cuisine is fun. It's meant to be delicious and no frills, no fuss. You know, we don't have any pretension in our room. It's all about genuine hospitality and deliciousness is what we try to aim for.